Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about CMSYS for ARM Cortex processor. Let's get started. So CMSYS stands for Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard. So this is a particular standard followed by most of the ARM based processor manufacturers. So whenever a company is manufacturing a processor based on ARM or whenever it is manufacturing a microcontroller based out of ARM Cortex-M processor, there is a restriction for the company to follow the CMC standards for providing the documentations required for the suppliers for using their microcontroller. So this CMC standard provides a user interface for the user for writing your own drivers for the particular ARM Cortex based microcontroller. So let's take an example. If you are using a particular microcontroller, let's say it to be STM32F446RE. So this is a ARM Cortex M4 based microcontroller and you are developing your own low level drivers. So low level drivers means the hardware abstraction layer of the software. So you will be writing each and every structure of the peripheral and all the other things bit by bit by your own. So when you are in need of moving to another series of microcontroller that is also based out of ARM, it is very very difficult for you as you want to develop all your low level drivers along with the application software that you are writing from scratch. So for solving this issue, all the silicon vendors or microcontroller manufacturers or ARM Cortex M based microcontroller manufacturers came up with an idea called CMSYS. So they follow this idea of CMSYS for providing the documentations required for the user. So the main documentation that is provided is the user manual of the microcontroller. So based out of the user manual, they are developing the CMSYS files and they are providing it. And if you are capable of using the CMSYS standard provided files from the silicon vendor, you will be able to program any ARM Cortex M based processor used microcontroller and write your own low level drivers. So if you are capable of writing your own code using CMSYS file provided from the silicon vendor, you will be able to use and write low level drivers for any ARM Cortex processor based microcontroller. So this is the benefit. So this is a common set of standards followed by silicon vendors who is manufacturing microcontrollers based out of ARM Cortex processor. So the main documentation as I mentioned whether you are using STM microelectronics based microcontroller, Texas instrument based microcontroller or NXP semiconductor based microcontroller if it uses ARM Cortex based processor you will be provided with CMSYS standard files from the silicon vendor. You can download it for free in the internet or you can get it from some of the suppliers from where you are getting the respective ICs. So let us try to understand and see what is CMSYS in detail, a little more detail. So this is the home page of CMSYS score. I have added the link of this home page, this HTML page in the description of this video. You can download it. You can clearly see the whole part of CMSYS is subdivided into three different parts. You can see there are three different file structures mentioned. Uh, one is the part that the file provided from the ARM company that is highlighted in purple color. So the ARM company is a company which manufactures the architecture not the actual IC. So the IC vendors or silicon vendors are like ST Microelectronics, Texas Instruments, NXP Semiconductors. But ARM is just a company who is selling the architecture to all these companies. So that ARM company will provide some core files to these silicon vendors and they will include these core files in their addition CMSYS files. And these core files from ARM includes CMSYS CPU and core access files, core peripheral functions, CPU instruction access, 
SI, MD, instruction access, etc. And these core files constitutes of CPU and core access files, core peripheral files, CPU instruction access and CM, SI, MD instruction access. And the files that are highlighted in blue are CMSS core device files from silicon vendor. So based out of the hardware abstracted files from ARM, these silicon vendors develop their own device files out of the device that they are developing. So based out of this ARM Cortex core files, they develop some peripheral structures as well as NVIC structures for all the peripherals available in the microcontroller and they will be providing it to us. And using all these files such as CMSYS device startup, interrupt vectors, CMSYS system and clock configuration files, device peripheral access files, CMSYS system and clock configuration files, you can build your own application out of all these files. And the gray highlighted portion of the file is the user application file which the user writes as per this application that he is building. So that's it. So this is the main structure of CMSYS file. So if you are capable of working with CMSYS file of any one of the microcontroller silicon vendor or if you understand it correctly then you will be capable of using any ARM Cortex processor based microcontroller CMSYS file and you will be able to write code for any of the microcontroller which uses ARM Cortex M processor. So this is a universal standard. So you must be capable of understanding the universal standard. So in this particular course, we are just working on STM32F446RE and TM4C123 microcontroller. So in future some of our videos, what we will do is we will try to write our own CMSYS structure files for peripherals such as GPIO, RCC of the microcontroller STM32F446RE and we will try to understand how it works. And later you will be able to write your own CMSYS file as well as I will teach you how you can use the CMSYS file from silicon vendor for building your own application that is the same program that we will be writing from scratch the CMSYS file as well as we will be using the silicon vendor CMSYS file and we will be building the same application with the silicon vendor provided CMSYS file. So at first we will be building our own CMSYS file required for peripherals such as GPIO in our microcontroller and we will build applications like LED blink etc. And later we will understand the CMSYS core file of the microcontroller provided by the silicon vendor and we will try to utilize the CMSYS file provided by the silicon vendor for building the same application. So I hope after doing all these things you will get some common knowledge of interfacing the microcontroller and also you will get some common knowledge of CMSYS core files so that you will be able to write program or low level drivers for all the microcontrollers which is based out of ARM Cortex processor using the CMSYS file. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.